we have a volcano eruption warning. It has to do with Iceland. As we know, it's a man magma a plume. It's a mantle plume there. It's on the mid-Atlantic trench. And the whole thing there is magma. Iceland's most active volcano is gearing up for an eruption. And it looks as if it's gearing up for what experts believe they reveal the Grimsvold volcano, the country's most active, something as it is a seismological hotspot. The last time the major eruption happened it was in 2011 when uh, it plowed an ash 20 kilometers into the atmosphere. Please consider supporting my Patreon account since YouTube has demonetized my channel. Thank you for your support. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now we know that there's a hot spot, a uh, magma plume right under there and uh, the, uh, the whole island of Iceland is a uh, uh, hot spot. And this is the Grunsvold volcano, last erupted in 2011, a year after the 2010 Iceland I can never pronounce that property, and it caused travel across chaos to stop for all of Northern Europe. We know that, uh, I think that uh, Angela Merkel was also stranded in space. She couldn't get back to Germany because of that. Now, the Grimsvold volcano was actually more powerful than the Aijav Ja La Jokul, even though it caused less disruption. Experts are warning that it's gearing up for yet another explosion. The volcano erupts every five to ten years, so this is just about ten years now. And with nine years since that last eruption, scientists have, believe it could be exploding any time now. They believe it's full. Now, usually an eruption is hard to forecast. But as the Grimsvold erupts relatively frequently, scientists have been able to pick up on the signs. For starters, the base of the volcano begins to expand and it fills with magma. And this magma causes intense heat and that leads to the ice surrounding the volcano to melt very quickly. So both of these signs have been noted, filling with magma and the ice uh, around it melting. Uh, it's been happening in the recent months as well as an uptick in earthquake swarms. Dave McGarvey, volcanologist at the Lancaster University, wrote it, writing for the conversation, says a high frequency of eruptions at a volcano allows scientists to detect patterns that lead to eruptions and precursors of eruptions. And if these are repeated at each time a volcano erupts, it becomes possible for scientists to be more confident that an eruption is likely to happen in the near future. He says it's, however, seldom possible to be precise about the exact day, Icelandic scientists have been carefully monitoring Grimsvold volcano since 2011 eruption, and they've seen various signals that suggest the volcano is now getting ready to erupt again. For example, the volcano has been inflating as new magma moves into the plumbing system beneath it. Think of burying a balloon in the sand and then inflating it. So increasing thermal activity has been melting more ice around it, and there has also been a recent increase in earthquake activity. The recent eruptions at Grimsvold volcano caused less chaos in the Aijaf Jala Jokul is because the former is covered in a thick layer of ice and uh, sleet. So as a volcano erupts, the ash collects the meltwater, making it much heavier. And the result is the ash and debris tend to drop out of the sky more quickly. McGavy said that the smaller Grimsvold eruptions expand, expend a lot of energy when they interact with water and ice at the surface, which means the resulting ash gets wet and sticky and falls from the sky relatively quickly. Ash clouds therefore only travel a few tens of kilometers from the eruption site. It's a good scenario for Icelanders and also for air travel as it prevents the formation of substantial ash clouds that could drift around and close off the airspace, airspace like what happened in 2010 with the, uh, I'm not going to say that word again, the, uh, let me try, just to make you laugh. I think I said it. Okay, this is on Express UK by Sean Martin. 
So all of you in that area, please be very careful. This is about to erupt.